This is our crossbow. It's a Barnett Whitetail Hunter 2. And this is the scope that came with it. And uh, today's video, we're going to be uh, shooting this with the existing scope, the original equipment, and then we're gonna install a new scope and uh, try that, sight it in, and see if we think it's a good upgrade. In the last five or 10 years, crossbows have been getting more and more popular. In many states, you can hunt throughout your whole archery season and in regular gun season and late archery muzzleloader seasons in New York. New York, you can only use crossbow for the last two weeks, but that's at least better than what it used to be. Years ago, the only way you could use a crossbow in New York was with a mouth-assisted release that you blew in. And now they've made it to where you can hunt for two weeks in regular archery season, the last two weeks coming into gun season. A lot of crossbow users would like to be able to use crossbow for the whole archery season. And you never know, it might happen in New York someday. I just want to touch on safety real quick. Uh, one thing you want to do is definitely inspect your cables and strings. Uh, I try to wax them every time I shoot. And also, it's a great thing to do is to lube the rail here and keep that lubed up because your string rides on that every time you shoot. And it could uh, cause extra wear on your string. And uh, so it's just a good thing to do every maybe three or four shots I try to lube up the rail. Many crossbows have an automatic safety and this one is no different. When you draw this back, when it clicks into place, it will cause the safety to kick back. And there also is a piece inside here. Let's see if we can show you. Right in this position here that your bolt has to push out of the way for this to be able to come off a safe. You can see it will not come off because of the piece of plastic under there. Once that's pushed out of the way, you'll be able to put your safety forward. But that just keeps you from dry firing uh, your crossbow. So you just wanna make sure all these mechanisms are working and uh, that everything looks safe before shooting. Another thing to point out, is to not put your hands in front of where your bolt goes and to not have your fingers above this rail as this string flies forward. Um, there's these uh, guards here to keep you from being able to put your fingers up over. And I would say that those were put there for a reason that probably enough people caught their fingers that they needed to put something in as a safety mechanism. So just make sure you know your equipment and make sure you're using it safely before operating. This is my wife's crossbow and she will be demonstrating for us today. Uh, she's the, uh, the one that knows how this uh, scope has been bothering her, being able to, to be able to, to get her eye relief just right and the scope blacks out really easily. Um, so I'm gonna show you that in the camera and then I'm gonna have her take a few shots. As you can see, the scope blacks out pretty easily. And if you're not perfectly aligned, and you just move just the slightest amount, you lose all vision. This crossbow has a 160 pound draw weight and it shoots 350 feet per second. And my wife's gonna show you how to, to cock the crossbow. And uh, she's not super rugged, but she can still handle it. Uh, and I think just about any um, adult should be able to cock the crossbow, unless you have a shoulder problem or something like that. But this is capable of having a uh, cocking crank as well. So go ahead, show them how it's done. So you're just going to take the two hooks and hook it down um, and then pull up until it takes it and puts it into safety. You can see 
with it cocked, it sticks behind this metal piece and this is on safety. Now, as we put a bolt in, watch the piece of plastic that's in there. Let's see if I can get it right to it. And you can see it push up as the knock hits it. You can see that. And that's what allows you to take it from safety to fire. When I'm setting up my shot, it's a little difficult to get comfortable. And as soon as I figure out the right placement of my head, it might be a little bit easier, but as I'm looking through the scope, I'm getting um, uh, like a black circle in spots where it's taking out the vision of the scope. And I'm trying to get my head the right distance away from the scope so I can see fully through the scope. I think I um, pulled. Pulled. I think you pulled too. Yeah. All right. Want to do one more? Yeah. That's better. Okay. Everyone saw what we were shooting. We have the Barnett Whitetail 2 and uh, the stock scope on it. And we've always had an issue with um, eye relief and it seems like you gotta be just perfect or it blacks right out. And uh, for years, I've been telling Joy we should pick up a different scope and uh, she doesn't think about it, that she needs it until, um, until crossbow season and she remembers how difficult it is to get her eye just perfect. So we made an order and we're gonna open this up and you all can see what we're gonna run on the crossbow uh, next season. Take a look here. It's a big box. There's actually two in here. We had to we had to get one one more from my father-in-law because he has the same scope. And I had to get me some uh, some merch, you know, represent the the Vortex gang. So let's see this thing. Here it is. The Vortex Crossfire 2 crossbow scope. And this is the kit. It's not just a scope. A lot of times you get just the scope. This is the kit. It comes with the scope rings. It comes with scope uh, covers, um, like flip up lenses covers. And it also has a scope cover that's neoprene um, all together in this. Um, the reason I went with the kit is because these, um, the tube size is a 30 millimeter and almost everything else I have um, is a one inch. So I thought, you know what, I probably don't have rings for it and I'm not sure if the rings on the crossbow are one inch or 30 millimeter. So I thought, let's go with the kit. Um, but it came with a lot of other good things and so I was glad that we went with the kit. Um, this is a has a red or green illuminated reticle. Um, you sight it in at 40 yards um, so there's a, a dash above the normal crosshairs, um, that's 20, then 30, then dead center is 40. Um, and I'm going to read the instructions exactly how to do it, but it says that you take the speed of your crossbow and then you set that on the scope and that automatically makes everything else, um, set correctly. So. You, set, you sight it in at 40 yards, and then your 20, 30, 40, 50, all that stuff should fall right in line. So we'll find out. But this is what we got. This is how it comes. It says you are Vortex Nation right there. You got your user's manual. And everything comes in this nicely packed in box. This is what I was talking about, the neoprene cover. Um, it comes with a lens cleaning, uh, a lens cleaner and a Allen wrench and a battery. Um, your rings are right down here packed in so the stuff doesn't bounce around. And it has your flip covers on it. So.
So that's the new scope that we purchased. And uh, I'm gonna get this thing mounted and then we're gonna get sighted in. I'm excited to try it out. First I gotta take these Allen wrench or these Allen screws loose. Okay, that's that. And I just wanna show you the difference in the scope. It's definitely a little longer by about a inch and a half, almost two inches. And we gotta figure out where to exactly place it on this rail to where the eye relief is comfortable. One thing I learned just now is that these clips, the screw isn't in the dead center. So when you put it in, there's gonna be a high spot or one spot that's got more than the other. And you wanna put it towards the top because um, it doesn't bite on if you do it the other way. So I just learned that. So that's something good to, good to remember. So what this room is not is soundproof. Let's see what that feels like. <sighs> We're getting somewhere. I have these scope mounts moved as far forward on this rail as I can go. And pretty much the scope being as far forward as it can go on the scope mounts and it's it's perfect. I had uh, Joy take um, the crossbow, put it to her shoulder, close her eyes, mount her cheek, and open her eye. And we adjusted it till Till I got where she didn't, when she opened her eye, her head was right where it needed to be. She doesn't have to move anywhere. Um, the eye relief isn't a lot different than the scope that we had on here that it came with, um, but she isn't, it's not blacking out on her. And I think it's going to be uh, a good scope. So next thing is, um, if you've seen any of my mounting videos, We've got the blue uh, Permatex thread locker. And uh, I use this on everything when I'm putting the screws to uh, um, scope mounts because with a shotgun or a rifle, you got that recoil, it can cause the threads to uh, loosen. Uh, on this, there's really no recoil. I'm just doing it because it's what I normally do. So we'll get this on. And then we're going to get this thing mounted up um, and uh, then get back out there and do some shooting. Just a little dab will do you. Only eight or ten of those threads, or maybe not even that many, four or five of those threads actually are uh, connecting to the other side. So. You don't need the whole piece glued up. I have some uh, levels here, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use it yet. Um, but what I need to do is get the crossbow itself level. And I'm trying to figure that situation out right now. So this is meant for metal. So maybe if I do that and this. I'm gonna be able to sit there perfectly. Hmm. 
Now this thing I'm not shooting out to a thousand yards or anything like that. So, so what I'm doing is I'm uh, tightening down two screws on the front base and the rear base. And now I'm going to take the other screws and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the blue Loctite to them and then take these other screws out and do it to those. They're good. We have the new scope mounted. Now it's time to zero it in. The instructions say to shoot at six yards first. So we're right up close. Make sure we don't hit the barn. So windage is pretty good, elevation needs some work. That's dead center, now I'm going to move back to 40 yards and zero it in. I don't know if I explained it yet, because I've been going back and forth inside the house and out here. But on this scope, where you would normally select to zoom in from, say, you know, three power to nine power and zoom it in, it has uh, numbers on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. So it starts at 275, goes to 330, 380, 425. And what that's doing is it's setting like the parallax of that crosshair. So our crossbow shoots at 350. And uh, so I've got it in between the 330 and the 380. I don't know if you can see that with the dot there. And that's supposed to set that. And so what I'm doing now is sighting it in at 40 yards. And it says once your 40 yard is set, then your 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 is all set. So we're gonna get this 40 set and then we're going to move up to 20 just to see what it does. And it's not much to the right. It's just a little bit. I'm just bouncing back and forth between. And it could be as much as the wind. Um, it's a little windy. I do apologize. I'm sure you're hearing wind noise. Um, hopefully it's not too much for uh, the video. All right, so we're gonna take the last shot at 40 here. And then we're gonna go check and have Joy come out and take a shot. See what she thinks. Oh man, that is windy. Alright. For now, that's pretty good. That's a little high. That might have been me dropping down when I shot. So, but I think it's like an inch and a half high. I'm gonna move this back up to 20 yards and uh, see what that 20 yard dot does. Let's check it out. It's a little high and it might be as much as 
adjusting it again at 40. We're going to be playing with this a lot this year, hopefully uh, getting more time behind the trigger so that she is ready next year or this fall, hopefully to get her first crossbow deer down. Hitting a little high. We're gonna get her out here and have her give it a try and we're gonna wrap this thing up. I don't know which one you're shooting at. Yep. I thought you were shooting at the other target. That was the one. or pushed well you're about the same height wise but you're a little left it's all right I was aiming at the center. oh fine. then you pulled yeah. up yeah. okay I didn't know if you're aiming at the same <laughs> dot or not you don't tell me where you're shooting okay so what is your feelings on the new scope um, I feel like it's a lot clearer I actually like that the like the crosshairs or is that mm -hmm. um with them lit is nice i feel like my eyes draw attention to it better than black how it was before and it's a lot more comfortable i didn't have to adjust i don't know if i adjusted at all i don't think so when i pulled up it just seemed very comfortable like it's right there already i'm not going okay right. so it's very comfortable good so you don't have to search for the crosshairs and it doesn't black out on you anymore and that's that's a good thing. We've had a couple of instances where Joy almost got a shot, but she was either having to fidget to get in position or different things like that. So I think anything that will shave some seconds off of prepping can help and just being confident in your equipment. So. I think this scope definitely is going to help out and she's going to be more confident and if put some more uh, time behind the trigger this summer and fall, then we'll be ready to get the elusive whitetail with the crossbow. That'll be awesome. That's the Vortex Crossfire crossbow scope and uh, I think it's going to be a good addition to the crossbow and it's going to help out this next fall. So just want you guys to know that we're thankful that you watched the video. Uh, thanks for coming by and checking it out. If you're looking for a crossbow scope, I would say this one's a pretty good one. Um, there are a few things, the, the dots are a little small in there on the crosshair. Um, so if you have a vision issue, that might, that might be a problem. But I don't know if you're really seeing the issue. Um, other than that, I think we're good. It can go green or red. Um, and you don't adjust the zoom after you adjust for your speed of your bow. So that's it. Uh, I want to thank you for coming by. Uh, we love you. God loves you. And we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy shooting your crossbow. All right, let's go.